Welcome! In this tutorial series, we'll take a guided tour of Edison, FL Studio's advanced wave editor and recorder plugin. Use the index in the video information below if you're looking for something specific. In this video, we'll show you how to record audio and loop record with Edison. Edison records audio passing through the mixer track it is loaded on and from the slot it's in. This can be useful depending on what effects you place before and or after Edison. So open Edison on a mixer track you want to record, get ready and press the record button. Before we record though, let's set the bit depth and sample rate here. Right click the sample rate, format or title section or press F2 to open the file properties. Higher bit depth and faster sample rate means larger files, but also more accurate results. I have FL Studio set to 44.1 kHz. That will be the sample rate of the incoming signal, so I will choose that. Since I am recording a track that combines other tracks in FL Studio, the incoming audio bit depth is 32 bit. You can set Edison's sample rate and bit depth independent of your audio interface. Generally though, it's best to set the same sample rate as in FL Studio and 32-bit float bit depth to preserve the full incoming audio quality. Click and drag up or down on the volume meter to set the input recording threshold. Everything below this threshold will be ignored when you're recording on input. By default, Edison is set to record on input, meaning whenever it hears any signal coming in. Now starts the recording as soon as you press the record button. Input will pause the recording when Edison detects silence and on play will start the recording when you press play in FL Studio. You can set a maximum record time here. Take care to set this option correctly, because if that maximum time is reached and Edison is still recording, it will loop back and begin overwriting audio from the start of the recording to keep the file within the set time limit. Once it's been overwritten, you can't get this audio back. If you're about to record for a long time and you don't know when you'll be finished, you should set it to forever. I'll record this again with the on play option selected. Notice how there is now a marker at the start of the recording? This marker represents the precise moment I pressed the play button in FL Studio, making it easy to time align it with the project. When you set Edison to time synced mode before recording as I've done here, the BPM of the project you're working on will be written into the file's metadata on export. This will help keep exported audio time synced even though the project BPM may change. With Edison recording on play and a time selection in the playlist, you can loop record in Edison. Turn on slave playback to host and loop playback. Once you stop the recording in Edison, it will start playing back. Every song jump marker represents the start of a new take. Now every time your track loops, Edison will return to the song jump marker. That way you can quickly audition your takes by switching between them using the left and right arrow keys. When you're happy with a take, you can export it to the playlist directly and avoid cluttering your workspace with a lot of unwanted takes like this. And with that, you're now well equipped to start using Edison and its tools to make audio recording easy for yourself. As always, remember to check the video information for segments, any relevant manual or video links, and the music used in this video.